welcome to the Aspire Mentor Training. We're grateful that you have chosen to offer your time and assistance to Oregon's Aspire program. Our program believes that all students should be career and college ready. The support and encouragement you will provide as a mentor will help students confidently explore and plan for their future. Today, we plan to go over a general overview of what your role will be as you assist students or adult learners in the Aspire program. Note that this presentation is just the initial training, and you will have a more specific site training with your Aspire coordinator before you begin in order to learn about the way your site functions and identify site-specific resources you will use as you work with students. One of the great things about Aspire is that the program is flexible and coordinators can customize their program based on their site needs and goals. In fact, no Aspire program will be exactly the same. While all Aspire sites share the same mission to create a college and career readiness culture within their site, not all Aspire sites are set up with a mentor program. But those that have a mentor program are extremely excited and appreciative of the time you will offer to make an impact on the lives of students. We hope that mentors will embrace and support the Aspire vision as you guide students and encourage their curiosity as they explore career and college options. We want them to be focused in their studies and involved in activities, engaged in the classroom, community, and school, prepared for the future, and bold in the pursuit of their dreams. As mentors, you get to walk, you get to walk alongside students and make this extraordinary impact. There are several different ways mentors assist at Aspire sites. The most common way an Aspire mentor will serve is by working with students in one-on-one -on -one or small group settings that are created by grade level or interests. In these cases, mentors usually see the same students each time they come to volunteer. However, some sites have mentors that meet with students as they drop in to the center to receive help and some coordinators utilize their mentors to assist with projects where they pull students down and work on a particular activity, like applying for the FAFSA or ORSA or the Oregon Promise. In addition, some mentors utilize their creativity or administrative strengths to assist the coordinator with designing displays or helping with coordination and scheduling career and college programs, field trips, or mentor management. When you meet with the Aspire coordinator, they will go over the way that their site works and the mentor responsibilities you will have as you serve students at that site. To get started as an Aspire mentor, you should first complete an interest form on the Aspire webpage. This will give you an opportunity to note your volunteering preferences and the school or community organization you would like to mentor. Our Aspire staff will take your information and forward it to the Aspire coordinators and needed mentors and they should contact you within one or two weeks. If you've already completed this step or have made the direct connection with the Aspire coordinator at the site you want to volunteer, the next step will be to complete in the Aspire mentor application packet on our website and return the packet to the Aspire coordinator at the site you plan to volunteer. The Aspire coordinator will reach out to you and request a meeting by phone, video conference, or in person. During this conversation, the Aspire coordinator will give directions to complete a criminal background check, which is a necessary step that you must complete before working with students. Once your background check is cleared, the Aspire coordinator will contact you to set up an Aspire site training and instruct you to watch, the, watch this mentor training video. The Aspire coordinator will also discuss the mentor position and your roles and responsibilities as a mentor, ask about your schedule availability, and share specific information about this about the site aspire program they will also clearly explain the way you will be connected with students and the procedural steps you'll take when meeting with students coordinators should also give you a tour of the aspire center to get you familiar with your surroundings and introduce you to site specific resources student support this process goes faster than you think once your background check is cleared to begin working with students and you have gone through your training, it's time to get started. 
Your goal as a mentor is to help students become ready for their future. You get to walk alongside and start building relationships with students, helping them consider and explore career and college options, identify and learn about financial aid and scholarships, and then create and implement a plan so that when they graduate, they'll be confident in their plan. Supporting this exciting process of student self-discovery and future planning is an amazing honor, and we want to remind mentors to be positive, encouraging, and always remember to listen and support the student's goals and dreams. As you work closely with students, it's important to remember that Aspire mentors working with Oregon students are mandated by law to report any known or suspected case cases of child abuse to either a law enforcement agency or the Oregon Department of Human Services. Please also communicate any suspected student abuse with your Aspire site coordinator or administrator of the site. It's important that students are supported and protected. Whether you have a lot of experience in the career and college planning process or are learning it for the first time, we want you to know that there are many resources and tools that Aspire has to help guide you along the way. At your Aspire site, your coordinator will show you their internal site resources that will be important to your work. But in addition to resources in your Aspire Center, I encourage you to become familiar with the OregonStudentAid.gov and the resources page on the Aspire website. As you begin, it will be important to get acquainted with the students you'll be working with. The Aspire program has a tool called the Student Information Form that some coordinators use as a way to get to know students. You can use this document as a way to interview the students and get to know them, their interests, needs, and their goals. In addition, another tool that some sites use is the Student Tracker. This form has less detailed questions, but still asks about the goals and needs of the student. The tracker is also useful as you move forward. You have a place to write down and identify what you have worked on or agreed upon and next steps the students will take in between mentor meetings. Also, the Aspire Resources webpage has additional publications and materials that will assist you as you meet with your students. High school mentors are encouraged to utilize the Aspire calendar to identify month by month important grade level tasks that students should be completing to prepare for their future, while well, middle school mentors should review the middle school toolkit. Over the next few slides, we want to highlight some of the resources that you may find beneficial as you begin learning more about the ways you can support students in career and college planning. I encourage you to explore our top three vetted career exploration resources. Our Aspire website has its very own career toolkit that includes information about career and technical education, apprenticeships, and military service. We would like to highlight the Big Future website and the Career One Stop, which can both provide a lot of additional support as students you work with explore their career path options. No matter the platform you choose, these vetted websites can be a great source of additional information that can educate the decisions of the youth you serve. Similar to the career exploration resource, Aspire has identified three platforms for college planning. Of course, we encourage you to view the materials on our own website in our college toolkit, but we also want you to encourage you to familiar, familiarize yourself with one of our partners' websites. Oregon Goes to College is a great resource for students looking to attend an Oregon college or university. We also suggest going back to the big future to explore colleges and universities across the nation. Many mentors seem to get intimidated by supporting students with the financial aid process. However, know that it's not as difficult as it seems. It is important to connect with your Aspire coordinator to learn about the ways their site supports financial aid and scholarship completion. Often, Aspire sites have educational events and training for students, families, and caregivers. We always encourage members to attend these events when possible. Aspire and OSAC also regularly support financial aid education through videos and webinars. You can also get a general overview of the state and federal financial aid process and resources at OregonStudentAid.gov and the federal FSA.gov websites. 
One of the best ways to help pay for college is scholarships. Beyond state and federal financial aid grants, scholarships help fill the financial gaps when funding post-secondary education. These additional applications can be from public, private, or institutional organizations, and most require the students to complete an essay and provide additional documents like transcripts or an activities resume. Finding scholarships, helping to identify deadlines and application requirements are great opportunities for mentors to support students. First, make sure you familiarize yourself with your Aspire site's local scholarships. Your Aspire coordinator should be able to direct you to a local list of scholarships. Beyond local and regional scholarships, you can start with the state of Oregon's OSAC scholarship and then consider viewing Oregon Goes to College and Big Future scholarship pages. It's important to encourage students to research additional institutional scholarships they can apply for at their top choice schools. Supporting students with, as they prepare for the future has a lot of moving parts. What we hope is that this mentor training video has shown you that you have a lot of great information at your fingertips to help support students. We wanted this brief overview of our website and materials to be a place you can return to as you start your mentor journey. We hope the visual QR codes will be helpful to get you quickly to the information you need as you mentor your students. Maybe consider bookmarking some of the sites in your browser for quick access. Also, know that we have additional training opportunities. At the Aspire Annual Conference, mentors can receive a wide variety of information on career and college planning resources, while also having the time to network with other mentors from across the state. We also have Aspire webinars throughout the year. These webinars include career and college preparation topics that can give you more education about financial aid, scholarships, grant programs, trades, apprenticeships, and more. Finally, remember that you're not alone. There will be things that come up that you don't have answers to, and we want to assure you that this, that is expected. Reach out to your Aspire coordinator with your questions and when you can, attend our ongoing training opportunities. Thank you so much for being an Aspire mentor and choosing to support and encourage Oregon students' future goals and dreams.